Hi everyone! Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Factor Theorem, Quarter 1, Module 9. Objective, determine whether the given binomial x minus r is a factor of a given polynomial. Factor theorem states that the polynomial p of x has x minus r if p of r is equal to 0. If p of r is equal to 0, then x minus r is a factor of p of x. Sagutan natin to determine whether x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. So, gagamit tayo ng factor theorem. Magkakaroon tayo ng p sub 2 equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. Sa paggamit ng factor theorem, kukunin natin yung given polynomials. Saan galing ang p of 2? Ito. Okay. Galing siya sa um, binomial na x minus 2. Since negative dito, kapag ginamit natin siya sa factor theorem, magiging positive. Ang susunod na gagawin ay isa substitute ang 2 sa value ng x. Okay, lahat, di, lahat ng x sa given polynomial ay gagawin 2. Magkakaroon tayo na P of 2 equals 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 minus 2. Ito muna ang isa-solve. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Isolve natin yung my exponent. So, 2 cubed, ang ibig sabihin ay 2 times 2 times 2. So, equals 8. Kaya, meron tayong 8 dito. 2 squared, that is equal to 2. Ang 4, kasi 2 times 2. So, ito naman yung 4. So, meron tayo ngayon, p of 2 equals 8 minus 2 times 4 plus 2 minus 2. Next, i-multiply natin yung um, negative 2 times 4. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 8. Ulitin ko yung negative 8 galing sa negative 2 times 4. So, we will have now P of 2 equals 8 minus 8 plus 2 minus 8. Kapag sinob natin yan, ang result ay 0. Bakit? 8 minus 8, that is 0. Positive 2 minus 2, okay, that is 0. So, this time, P of 2 equals 0. Ibig sabihin, since ang um, sagot ay 0, P of 2 equals 0, then... X minus 2 is a factor of X cubed minus 2X squared plus X minus 2. Kung babalikan natin yung factor theorem, iba sabi kapag ang P of R equals 0, ibig sabihin ang given binomial ay factor na polynomial. So, kaya X minus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. Susunod, determine whether x plus 3 is a factor of 
2x raised to the 4th power minus 3x squared plus 7. Alamin naman natin if x plus 4 is a factor of 2x raised to the 4th power minus 3x squared plus 7. Okay, balik tayo sa factor theorem. So, dito kung makikita nyo, we have t's of negative 3. Saan galing yung negative 3? From x plus 3. Since positive dito, kapag ginamit natin siya, nagiging negative. So, yun ang shortcut. Then, susunod, papalitan ang x ng negative 3. We will have now p of negative 3 equals 2 times negative 3 raised to the 4th power minus 3 times negative 3 squared plus 7. Uunahin ulit yung my exponent. So, negative 3 raised to the 4th power is equal to 81. Paano nangyari ang 81? We have negative 3 times negative 3. It's positive 9. Times negative 3, it's negative 27. Times negative 3, that is positive 81. Kaya 81 po yung nandito. So, negative 3 times negative 3, it's 9. So, negative, um, piece of negative 3 equals 2 times 81 minus 3 times 9 plus 27. Ito naman ang kailangan i-multiply. 2 times 81 and 3 times 9 or negative 3 times 9. The answer is um, 2 times 81 we have here 162. 3 times 9 is 27. So, piece of negative 3 equals 162 minus 27 plus 7. Pagsamahin natin yung pareho positive. 162 plus 7 is 169 minus 27. Kapag sinubtract natin ito, ang sagot ay 142. So, ngayon, piece of negative 3 equals 142. Okay. Ngayon, kung makikita nyo, ang sagot ay hindi 0. Ibig sabihin, piece of negative 3 equals 143, then... X plus 3 is not a factor of 2X raised to the 4th power minus 3X squared plus 7. Bakit hindi factor ang X plus 3? Kasi pag gamit natin ng factor theorem, ang result ay hindi 0. ba sabi natin kanina magiging factor ang given binomial kapag ang sagot ay 0 or piece of R is equal to 0. So, that's it for this video. Hope you learned something. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye everyone.